Thank you for inviting me. Uh, I will just talk about, uh, about demography. Just meet the word population increasing, as you all know. Uh, then let's see the age distribution of the world population. And you see that uh, the age, age 65 and more, are going to be more numerous than the uh, people below 15 by the end of the century. Uh, then see how the old uh, people over 70 are increasing from just a few, maybe 200 millions in uh, the year 1950 to about 2 billion uh, at the end of the century. So there are no doubts the world population is aging, and so are the po populations of uh, most countries, in the, of all countries of the world. Uh, then I wish to meet you a lady. Uh, this is Madame Jean Calment, uh, the yellow triangle. Uh, she lived for 122 years uh, in Arles, nice place. And, uh, the triangle hasn't moved yet in the last 20 years. We don't have another record woman uh, uh, dying at a higher age than, uh, than Jean. Uh, but then I want to concentrate on this. Suppose that we, have, that we reach uh, an expectation of life of, of 100 years. Okay? Uh, Japan, we, Japanese women are not far away from 90. And uh, maybe at, by the end of the century, uh, expectation of life of 100 could be reached. And then you can see the age distribution for various uh, levels of uh, expectation of life at birth, 40, 60, 80, and 100. And you see that the uh, 100 age distribution is a rectangular one, except for the last uh, uh, age bracket uh, over 80, you still have 17% of the population and the 5% over 100. And so this marks really a discontinuity between an age uh, expectation of life of 80 and an expectation of life of 100 in terms of age distribution. And let me focus last on uh, a few points. Uh, first of all, this implies a redefinition of uh, uh, age-assigned roles in society, such as work, retirement, uh, study, and so on. Uh, our societies have been built by giving roles at specific ages and uh, keeping the, those fixed age. You, know, you have a pension age, you have an age in which you go to start going to school, you finish school, you get married also, and all these at fixed intervals. So I think this is going to be redefined, and there are two factors. Uh, take education. Uh, education used to be concentrated in, uh, in the very young ages, and uh, of course, uh, the renewal now and the updating of knowledge is so fast that uh, you need to keep up with that. And uh, you have this uh, tri triple L's, long life learning uh, uh, institution, etc. There is a redistribution it, across the age spectrum of the uh, uh, learning process. And this, of course, is one of the things that have been disconnected from the uh, uh, rigid age assignments of roles. Uh, education may be spread more and more over, over the lifespan. Uh, second point, the, the work and the retirement. Uh, of course, by, uh, in a uh, society where expectation of life is 100, you expect to work at least uh, one half of that duration, maybe 50 years, okay? And you start working at 25 and finish at 75, but you cannot as frailty as has been shown uh, by my illustrious colleague before, is increasing in variation with age. Uh, so uh, at 60, variation is relatively small in terms of health, in terms of uh, uh, ability to work, etc. At 70, it spreads, variation increases. At 80, is even more in, it increases any, uh, even more. So uh, uh, a pension age of 75 in a 100 uh, uh, years society uh, may be uh, spread, maybe the average of uh, uh, retirement going from 55 perhaps to 85. So you should adapt society to meet this type of challenge. Then you have the coexistence of uh, several generations. Uh, 
you may have, it will be normal to have four generations living together. An adult of 40 may have children, may have fathers and mothers, and may have grandfathers and grandmothers still alive. And in some cases, even five generations. So this has also uh, an implication for uh, wealth flows between generations, and I leave it at that. And uh, finally, a hundred years society, a hundred years old society is a slow uh, turnover, uh, slow renewal society. Little mobility in terms of uh, of who comes and who goes. Huh? And uh, I think we have to meet this challenge. Uh, the 100 year society is a slow, uh, a slow turnover society. That's it. Thank you. Thank Sorry, you. Sorry, I exceeded how many Brilliant. seconds? Huh? Brilliant.